Introduction CASR developed by Bruce A. Thayer and David S. Thuis. It is derived from Hamilton Anxiety Scale HAS. The CAS has good reliability and validity and is compatible in format designed for human service professionals to evaluate the effects of their interventions with clients' dysfunctional anxiety. The assessment has 25 items measuring the level of anxiety. The purpose to measure the amount of anxiety reported by a respondent. Next, to measures the degree or magnitude of problems clients have with anxiety. The CAS skill is focused on more behaviorally oriented definition of anxiety to measures phobic and anxiety reactions that arise from more clearly identified, more specific situations or events. Type of assessment is a self-rated assessment. Component being assess. It consists of 25 statements rated on a 1 to 5 scale. And there are 7 reverse keyed items. The indication and contraindications. Indication 1. Psychic anxiety and tension in somatic musculature. 2. Other mood disorders, depression and irritability, sleep and cognitive disturbance and the disturbance of visceral function. 3. Patient with signs of anxiety. Contraindication 1. Patient with no insight. 2. Patient with severe mental disorder and not stable. 3. Patient that cannot read. Therapist will give instruction before the patient begins to answer the assessment which is this questionnaire is designed to measure how much anxiety you are currently feeling. It is not a test, so there is no right or wrong answer. Answer each item carefully and as accurately as you can by placing a number beside each one as follows. The administration time for this assessment is between 5 to 10 minutes. For scoring description, 1 is marks as rarely or none of the time. 2 when there is a little of the time, 3 when some of the time, 4 a good part of the time, and 5 for most or all of the time. Step 1, first reverse the score items which are 1, 6, 7, 9, 13, 15, and 16. Step 2, sum the reverse score in the remaining scores. Step 3, Subtract the number of completed items. Step 4. Multiply the result by 100. Step 5. Divide by the number of items completed and times 4. Interpretation. The range is 0 to 100. The higher the score, the more the anxiety. The clinical cutoff score is 30. So basically this is what Miss Aina had answered. For question number 1, 6, 7, 9, 13, 15 and 16, you have to reverse the score. Okay, next for the scoring, first you have to total up the reverse score and also remaining score. And then you have to minus it with the number of items answered. And times with 100. And lastly, divide by the product of number of items with 4. For this assessment, the interpretation is the higher the score, the higher the severity of anxiety. So in this situation, the patient scores 70. Okay, Miss Aina, 
high now. Your score is 70 over 100, which shows your anxiety level is quite high. Okay, uh, thank you for your participation. Discriminant validity. Clinical anxiety scale, CAS, has discriminant validity coefficient of 0.77 which is strong. Concurrent validity. The correlations between the CAS and AMP, hospital anxiety and depression scale, HADS, subscales for anxiety, HADS A, were strong, which is 0.69. The internal consistency of CAS assessed with the Cronbox Alpha is 0.94 which is very strong. For test retest, CAS has test retest reliability ranging from 0.67 to 0.74 which is strong. Advantages of CAS assessment is, easy to be administered, not time consuming, easy to interpret the scoring, has good validity and reliability. Disadvantages, lack of current research study on validity and reliability. Self-rated, so, clients may under or overestimate their ability. Assessment was developed in 1984 and is not updated. This assessment is suitable to be used in Malaysian population, as the question is related only about anxiety that the patient is currently having, and very general which is not specific to any culture.